Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about shot maps and really the easiest way that I found in Python to be able to create a shot map. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a tutorial on it real quick and then as well the code and the CSV file are both in my GitHub, which is just going to be a link in the description below. So be sure to download that if you want to follow along with the exact thing that I'm doing in the video. But if you're not interested in doing you know, the exact same thing, it's kind of just a basis. The tutorial is going to be a basic how to kind of. So you can definitely apply it to different um, code and different things that you want to do with your shot maps. Be sure to smash the like button, <laughs> subscribe, and yeah, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be going over shot maps and really just creating a very simple way of doing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Jupyter Notebook. You can also do this in a IDE, for example, if you wanna use PyCharm, or if you wanna use something like Visual Studio. Whatever you feel most comfortable in, I do everything in Jupyter Notebook, as I feel like it is a little bit easier to just run certain lines of code, but you can always, like I said before, do what is most comfortable for you. So the first thing that we're going to need in the to be able to make this is we're going to need to import our modules that we're going to be using. So we're going to say import the modules. That's just a comment. And then we're going to use pandas. So oops, I, I can't even spell pandas. But we're going to import pandas as pd. As well, we're going to be needing matplotlib. So we'll say import matplotlib as MPL. And then we're going to need a pi, pi plot from matplotlib as well. So we'll say import matplotlib dot pi plot as PLT. And those are really the basic ones we need. And then the way that I make the pitch for these shot charts is I use MPL soccer. So this is just an, another module. I've gone over it in other videos. I recommend going and watching the how to create a soccer pitch, how to create a football pitch video that I've already created. And it guides you through how to actually create the pitch. So we're going to be using that module and, and to import it, all you have to say is from MPL soccer dot pitch import pitch. And you run that, and so when you run that, it will have everything ready for you. The next thing you need to do is, I like to do this, I just like to set the general use colors. So, for example, the text color, instead of having to type white every single time, I just set it equal to W, which is white. Then you run that. And the next thing you need to do is, we're going to import the data. And to do this, we're going to use pandas. So we're just going to say data equals pd.read underscore csv. And then this is where you have to read in the csv. I've provided the csv for you in the link in my GitHub down below. So be sure to go download that. And it's just called shotmaps.csv. Run that. And then we can take a look at the data just to familiar, familiarize ourselves with it. So we run it and this is what our data looks like. So we have this data and it's kind of just like an Excel sheet, like how pandas reads in the data frame. But basically it's gonna have the minute, the second, if that's data that you want. And then these are all the shots that Barcelona took against Juventus in round six of the group stage of the Champions League. So it's gonna give you your team, it's gonna give you your X and your Y coordinates, as well as the outcome of the shot. I didn't, um, this is just kind of some data that I scrapped together from a bunch of different sources. So I didn't include players or anything. This is just kind of some basic data. So we can really just see how we're going to create this shot chart. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create the actual plot. And this is done pretty easily with matplotlib. We're just gonna say fig comma ax equals plt dot subplots. And then I like to set my figure size in here. So I'm gonna say fig size equals, and then we're just gonna do 13 and 
0.5. And then as well, we're gonna say, I like to set the face color as well, the color that we're gonna be using so it's not just white. So if you do fig.set underscore face color, and then we'll do, this is the one that I like to use. And as well, we'll just set the patch color. So the outside, which is patch. And then we'll set that face color as well to be the exact same thing. I'll just copy it so I don't have to type it again. So we'll run that and this is what our pitch is going to be looking like right now. And this is where we're actually going to be using MPL Soccer. So I recommend obviously going to their website and you can look at all their different ways of importing a pitch. I personally use this one right here, which is in the plotting, you pass plot using arrows. And you come down here, I honestly just copy and paste this right here. And we paste that into our code. And so it's created the pitch. And then what we need to do is we actually need to say pitch dot draw. And the way that we're gonna put this on our actual, so if we do this, it's gonna create two different ones. So what we need to do is we need to say pitch dot draw, and then we need to say the axis is equal to the axis that we created before. So we run that, and now this is what our pitch looks like. As you can see, this is horizontal. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make it a vertical plot. So we're just gonna say, we're gonna switch this up here from orientation to be vertical. And then if you come down here, so this is what it looks like now, but we really just want half of it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to say view equals half. You run that and then this is what it looks like. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to plot the actual points. So you just say plt.scatter and then we're gonna use the x coordinates. So we need to pass in the data frame. So we'll just say data and then in these brackets with parentheses x, so that's our x coordinates. And then we're gonna do data y as our y coordinates. So we'll just do that real quick and we can see what it looks like. So this looks really nice, but the only problem is the coordinates are like basically inversed. So what we need to do is, and as well, I don't like to view it going this way. I kind of like viewing it the other way. So what I've been doing, you can inverse the plot points if you want, but what I do is I use this plt.gca and then you do invert underscore y axis. And as you do that, it's going to invert everything. So it's just basically gonna flip it downwards. And now all the points are correct, as well as we have the pitch, how I like it. Obviously the biggest part of doing this is getting the data, how you want it to look, as well as getting the pitch orientation and everything. I, you're gonna, probably gonna have to do a lot of math with just raw data and being able to get it to where the data actually is. Because most data, like I've already edited all of this data up here, so it's on the right x-axis and y-axis and everything, but most data is going to be on a 100 by 100, which is not how we want it. So now what we can actually do is with this data that we have, we can start editing the scatter plot. So for example, if you wanted to change the color, you could do the C argument, and then you just pass in, for example, a color that you like. So this is one that I've been using. It's a red color. And then as well, we're gonna throw in the size argument. So for example, I usually do about 100, so it gives the data points a little, they're a little bit more easier to read. And then as well, if you want them to be, look a little more faded, which a lot of people like, you can use the alpha and set that somewhere to about 0 0.7, 0 0.5. And so it makes it a little more faded than usual, which, I mean, if you're plotting a lot of data points, it makes it a lot easier. So this is just all of the shots. So if we wanted to, we could actually 
use a for loop, which I'm not gonna do in this video, but you could use a for loop and plot, say all the saved ones is blue, all the missed is red. Um, if, if it hits the post, you could do uh, like an orange or something, a yellow, and then you could do goals as like green. But basically what we're doing here is we're just plotting the shots. So that's all we're gonna do. And then as well, you can do, you can create the titles. So if you just wanna do plt.title and just say Barcelona shots versus Juventus, you run that and it's gonna look ugly, but <laughs> I mean, you can switch it up a little bit. You can make it look better. So personally, I like to use a font size of about 24, depending on the thing. So we'll use 24. And then this is where the text color comes in, the general use color, and then we'll just say C equals text color. So yeah, that really is the easiest way to create a shot chart. There's a lot of different customization things that you can do with this. For example, if you had the XG values, the expected goal value of each shot, you could size the plot points by how much the XG value was. So I would recommend just starting off with this basic tutorial and creating this basic shot chart. And then from there, going and customizing it to be your own style, kind of create things how you want it to look and what you think looks nice. And from there, you'll be able to venture into other things that such as like hex bin plots. If you have shot chart data for like a whole season, it's really cool to show a heat map of where shots are happening, not just individual shots. I recommend learning especially pandas because pandas is how you're gonna read in the data and edit the data. Because like I said, I've already edited this data to make this tutorial really easy, but 90% of what I was doing to create this tutorial was figuring out how to switch or how to edit the X and Y data points so that it was plotting how I wanted it to be plotted. So that's everything for this tutorial. I recommend looking at my other videos and as well, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.